Hello guys, my name is Matthew and I run Russet Balm Candles as well as this YouTube channel and the Facebook group Wax Melts and Candles Helpful Making Group UK. In this video today I'm going to be talking about the very important topic of how to do the calculation of fragrance oil to wax but more importantly it's a topic about how to minimize the amount of wasted fragrance oil on wax left over in your pouring pot once you've filled either however many candles you want to fill up or however many uh, wax melts you need to fill up that there's zero leftover wax and fragrance oil left over in your pouring pot so it's minimizing wastage and how to save money please subscribe to my youtube channel as a sign of thanks and to help grow the channel and to give me the motivation to continue doing more and more videos to help you make better candles and better wax melts so to help simplify the topic of fragrance oil to wax i've done some examples here on a piece of paper which um it, it's, it's really so simple really so I've laid it out in the simplest way I think possible for me to talk through and you to understand but working out uh, the percentage of fragrance oil to wax is it's a really easy topic um, or it's a really easy calculation rather because a lot of people they use the 10% fragrance load and you know it's really easy to work out 10% it's whatever the wax might be so for example 100 grams of wax times 10%, so just basically you just take the naught off in this case, so that gives you 10 grams of fragrance oil. Now that's not the problem, so the problem is where you want to work out the amount of wax and the amount of fragrance oil combined to fill up a wax melt container to the top and not have anything left over in your pouring pot that, that gets wasted, you know, there's not enough left to fill up another a clamshell or whatever sort of wax melt container you're using so that's the point of this video is to minimize or to have zero wastage wax and fragrance oil for example if you go off that calculation of all right i'm going to use 100 grams of wax i'm going to use 10 grams of uh, fragrance oil so that is now 110 grams in total you pour that into an 80 gram <clears throat> you pour that into an 80 gram a clamshell container so then you've poured in 80 grams that leaves you with 30 grams left in the pot which you cannot fill up another uh, 80 gram clamshell so then if you have happen to have any smaller containers you might be able to fill it up then that depends if they're 30 grams so the, the whole point of this video is to minimize the wastage of wax and fragrance oil and it's basically to save you money really when you start getting to the stage of you're making hundreds and hundreds of uh, wax melts and candles you want to minimize how much wastage uh, material you're using especially the fragrance oil because the fragrance oil is probably the most expensive ingredient going into our candles and wax melts all right so i'm not going to waffle on anymore i'm going to talk through this these calculations to show you exactly what i'm talking about so the first example is a candle if you want to make one candle and the, the glass jar that you're going to be using can hold up to 180 grams of content of total fill weight so the content being the wax and the fragrance oil combined because both of them have a weight together so the total weight that can go into our candle glass jar uh, is 180 grams in this example so how do we work out how much wax and how much fragrance oil combined together equals 100 total grams 180 grams rather and we're going to work in this, in these examples at a 10% uh, fragrance load so we want to use 10% um, oil to wax so the way to do the calculation in this example so our container holds 180 grams we want to first work out how much wax we want to put in so you do 180 grams 180 grams i use a chopstick as a pointer it might stop the camera from blurring 180 grams divided by 1.1 which is you know 1.10 is 10 percent so dividing that equals 163.636 and that's how much wax we're going to be using in this size container now to add to that we're going to work out how much fragrance oil we need so again in this example we're working on the 10 percent uh, fo fragrance oil so the amount of wax we're using is that, so we put that there times 10%, which equals 16.363 grams of fragrance oil. 
So those two combined, that total weight is that at that equals 179.9999, which is, we can just round up to 180 grams. So once we pour that out into our glass jar, in here there'll be nothing left over, so nothing wasted. Again, we can use the same example for a wax melt. Let's say we're working with a clamshell uh, container that holds up to 80 grams of content. Content, again, is the wax plus the fragrance oil. So, 80 divided by 1.1. So again, we're assuming we're working with us as the manufacturer, as the wax melt maker, we want to put in 10%, okay? It can, it can work at 9%, 8%. You just change that figure to, uh, if you wanna go at 8%, you do 1.08. Or 6%, 1.06, you know, 7%, 1.07, whatever percent, you can put it into this calculation. So 80 divided by 1.10 equals 72.73 grams of wax. All right, I've rounded the two decimal places. So that's how much wax we're gonna use in this container. To work out the um, fragrance oil, it's 72.73 times 10% equals 7.273, round to um, two decimal places, so 0.27. So add those two figures up, our wax and our fragrance oil. Obviously these are in grams. That at that equals 80 grams. So again, when we pour then our content into our um, wax melt container, it equals 80 grams. We fill our container right to the brim and we've got nothing left over. Okay, so in these two examples, I've done some calculations based on one candle and one uh, wax melt container. Obviously, when we're making candles and wax melts, you wanna make more than one at a time. So how do you use the same calculation for multiple containers, whether it be candles or wax melt containers? going to run for an example an example can be altered for any amount it's exactly the same calculations so in this example I'm running through using uh, wax melts they hold again 80 grams each and let's say we want to make five wax melts so our first calculation would be to work out the total amount of fill weight which is 80 times 5 you know, if you want to make 10, then times it by 10. If you want to make 100, times it by 100, whatever. But it's 80 times 5 in this example equals 400 grams. 400 grams is our total fill weight. Okay. Right. Now, the next calculation is to work out how much wax we're going to use. Remember, we're using a 10% um, fragrance, fragrance load. So 400 divided by 1.10 equals 363.64 grams of wax. Then times that by 10 to get our um, fragrance oil amount, times 10% equals 36.36 grams of FO, fragrance oil. You add those two figures together, so obviously the wax, the wax in grams, so the wax weight and the fragrance oil weight. The combined total equals 400 grams which is the total amount of grams of fill weight for to fill up five containers to the brim and have zero contents left over so i hope these examples made sense i'm going to leave them here just so you can quickly if you want to pause the video and you can look at these two calculations just there feel free to pause the video at this point and you can uh, read through those again but it's, um, it's really straightforward really once you understand these calculations. So you can really save yourself um, quite a bit of money really over the, the long run in wasted product, especially the fragrance oil, which is obviously the most expensive ingredient going into our candles and wax melts. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned something. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel as a sign of thanks for me taking the time to make these videos. Um, I really do enjoy making these videos, so it is something I want to continue in the future. And um, when people subscribe to the channel, it gives me the motivation to make more videos.